Doctor, how about something new? You played this last year. Come on, get your head out of your sacks. Shh, we're trying to hear. Well, I'm sick and tired of hearing your kid play the wrong notes. Where's my kid solo? At least you can see your kid. Why is my kid stuck way in the back? <gasps> the conductor only plays his favorite. Woo! I get her! Glover, one-on-one with the basket. Oh, Jaden Glover! With the windmill to send this place into a frenzy. And to the corner, Lawrence. No look pass, and Wilcher lays it in. Wilcher to the hole. Simeon Wilcher starting to heat up. He's got four points, and Roselle Catholic leads by 11. Watson to his brother, and Tariq is fouled and hits it. They'll go to the line for one. They'll pick it up, the clock will move. Lawrence with Adams on him, lost his footing, gets a shot up, and he gets it to go at the buzzer. Jamarcus Lawrence, a big first quarter for the Nebraska commit. Memorial Gymnasium here at Hillel Yeshiva. I am Norman Jamal alongside Ronald Roland Towell for a marquee matchup. A Thursday night juggernaut That's between right, the 4 and 1 Hillel Heat and the 7 and 0 wow. undefeated S-A-R Sting. Ron, how are you tonight? Norm, it's great to be here. The energy is electric. Like you mentioned, the Salanta Akiba Riverdale Academy coming from Yonkers down to Deal, New Jersey for what is what we hope to be a very close, very competitive matchup between two leaders in the Western Conference of Yeshiva League Basketball. Norman, I mean, it's going to be close. SAR, like you said, is the powerhouse of the league right now. Halel looking to make a statement, looking to show the league that they belong in the conversation with SAR. Well, Ron, I mean, uh, let's hope it's close. You're saying it's going to be close. Let's kick it to given. SAR has beaten teams that have good records. They beat DRS by the score of 66 to 16. Yeah. Earlier this season, they beat Ramaz by 30 points, a team that beat us. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we've had the pep rallies. Uh, <laughs> we've done it all to get ready. Well, let's hope that we can hang with these guys. I mean, I can tell already they have the height advantage. Well, that's they always. Also, and, and, Ron, they seem to have a strength advantage. These guys look jacked up. Uh, yeah, I mean, Norman, I looked at all seven previous games. They scored 60-plus points in all seven games. The key for Halal? Defense, defense, and defense. Rod, did you notice that not only did they score so many points in each game, the first game they won by around 15. Next game they won by like 20. Yeah. Then they won by 30. Yeah. Then they uh, took a dip, they only won by 25, and then they won by 50. So this team is the cream of the crop in the MYHSAL, the Metropolitan Yeshiva High School Basketball Athletic League. And uh, it's going to be, let's see who's taking the tip. It's going to be... Jonas Sokol, he takes all the tips for this team. And Sokol wins the tip again. He's now 7-1 and one in opening tips. Three-pointer for SAR right off the bat. Oh, no rebound at all. I mean, Yeah, nobody even went up for that one, Norman. Luckily, Smecky, I believe, was the one who was able to strip it out of the hand. But why didn't, we, why didn't Hillel jump up for the ball on the rebound? Okay, so it's Gindi, Kassin, Braha, Smecky, and Miz getting the start. 
That's Kasson. It looks like he got away with the travel there, Ron. Yeah. But. but Norman, what a story any Kasson has been for this offense. Every Any team so far this season that's boxing nice one. Pass. Any team that's put Elliot Braha with man-to-man, -man, Eddie Kasson has stepped up. He is a major focal point for this Hillel offense. Ron, it's now 2 all. SAR scoring way quicker than you are able to analyze that. It's Braha, wild shot over the back backboard. Not sure why he felt to shoot that shot. And uh, that, that, that's, a, that's a wild turnover over there. It's now 2 all. And, oh, it's a turnaround by the three-point. This team's a good passing team, Ron. Look at this. Baseline wow. right at the middle, wide open look. Oh boy, Ron, I am. Uh... Yeah, that's so cool for the easy <laughs> bucket, but it's the passing before that that sets it up. Isaac Mizrahi, who's down low, is going to have to be able to react to those passes to defend them. Here's Smecky, one on one. It's no good, misses the layup. That's a bad miss from Smecky. He did get an open look, he created the open look. That's yep. a walk. Easy call for the Zebra, Sokol with the walk. You see what they try to do? They try to get the ball on the wings and then they punch exactly. it into Sokol. That's their game plan. They're going to try to bring up Isaac Miz from the paint and then pounce that area that he's just vacated. A little confusing, Ron. Sokol and number 23, Yona Abraham, look just alike. I mean, these guys look like twin brothers, if you ask me. That's a steal. And that's a bucket for SAR. These guys are fast. Yeah, that's, that's a Kiva Shanzer. Yeah, it's a Kiva Shanzer. Obviously, the pro, the veteran, the leader of this SAR team. He won gold with Maccabi in Israel earlier this summer. And he's trying to lead SAR to another finals appearance. This team looks a lot faster than any team I've seen. I mean, they are whipping the ball, passing it with precision and speed. Long inbound pass. Braha stays in. He saves it on the sideline to the corner. There's Smecky for three. It's good! Smecky with the corner three. Assist from Braha. Halel comes within one. Okay, Ron. Health at the top of the key. Back to Sokol. Back to Health. Thought about it. That's a three-pointer off the rim. Kasson had Braha down low, but didn't see him. He's going to take it himself. Kick it out to Braha for three. It's yeah. good! Elliot Braha. Electrite. <laughs> it excites the crowd, Norman. Nice pass by Kasson. He didn't see Braha initially, but then he drove, drew the defenders to him, and then kicked it out to wide open Braha, who didn't hesitate, and he drained the three. It is 8 6 Hillel. Here's a response from SAR, but it's an air ball. Rebound by Sokol. Nice passing again. Look how they swing the ball. Yeah, it, Slight it, hesitation. Health into Sokol again. He jumps back to health. They're going to try to reset it. It's deflected by Braha. Good defense by Hillel. Izzy Ingber will inbound. Norman, you mentioned Izzy Inber. I noticed from the opening day roster, Itai Berkowitz, Benny with Sammy Teplitsky, all opening day starters for SAR, injured. They're playing with three replacements to their starting roster. Wow, so this team is really stacked, that means, Ron. Yeah. I like the way Akiva Shanzer plays this game. I can tell that already just three minutes in. His passes are excellent. He's number 20 on SAR, Ron. Yeah, keep, a, keep an eye out for them. Look at that! Oh! Cassin went for the steal. That's, oh, wow. Look at this, Ron. Underneath, Noah took a fall. Noah Hakeem, by the way, checked in for Isaac Miz. Oh, come on. Noah took another fall. That's two falls, no rebounds for him. Norman. And Shanzer with his fifth and sixth points of the day. Yeah, we're not going to be able to give SAR three chances per possession. Absolutely not. That's why it's interesting he went to Hakeem on the uh, substitution there. Fade away by Smecky. Nice shot. He's two for three from the field, Ron. That's a nice shot. He's got five points. Yeah, Smecky's ability to create space is so unique in Yeshiva League, Norman. He'll drive the paint. He'll hurt you from the perimeter. And we just saw the fadeaway shot just there. Oh, you cannot let him go baseline. That's a defensive lapse by Hakeem again. And that set up a three-pointer. That's weak defense by Noah Hakeem. He's supposed to be a defensive specialist. You can't let the guy go baseline. It opens up the whole court for them. And one! Nice pass, and it's Eddie Casson with the layup to pull Hillel within one. This is a high-scoring affair. It's 12-11. Casson will go to the line for one. The 
This is fast paced as well, Ron. Yeah, I mean, Halal's gonna have to try to match SAR's speed. Quick passes, fast breaks. They're gonna have to create easy buckets under in the paint. Cassin misses it. Halal not on the line to contest for that rebound to just give the ball up back to SAR on a miss. Pass to the corner. Back out. That's a long shot, wow. and it's good. Shanzer quiets the crowd with a deep three. That's his eighth point already, Norman. No, Ron, that's his 12th point. Cut. Shanzer got 12 points. I don't know what game you're watching. He's got all their points except one bucket. Oh! Blocked from behind by Hakeem. But SAR gets it back. And it's good. Who hit that shot, Ron, there? 23. That was to be Yoda Abraham, his first bucket. Exchanger, by my count, has two threes and three twos. That's good for 12 points. Sokol has two points, and Yona Abraham's got two points. That's how I have it scored. Squire, 23. Just scored. Not Abraham. Oh, there's two number 23s on their roster, then. I don't know which one it is, if it's Squire or Abraham. Break away. Nice block by Smecky, but the follow-up is missed. Yeah, Hakeem with some errors early in this game, Norman. A turnover just then, some defensive errors earlier. Yeah. He's going to have to clean it up. He's going to have to clean it up. He has more uh, falls onto the floor. There's Braha, long three. You don't want to see that. Smart mark, four for the rebound. And that's going to be a... Did he save that? He did. Yeah. Tremendous effort there. And look at this, a wide open EB. He's there. Elliot Bahara, he now has five points. Braha with five, Smecky with five, Kassin with four. Those are their big boys. And Halal trails by two in 16-14. Noah with the steal, deflection by Smecky. Smecky's there. Missed the layup. It was a late pass by Kassin. Okay, Smart Mart defending. Pulls in the corner, on the wing, wide open. And he's blocked again. Halel has, like, five block shots. Yeah, but it looks like uh, Braha got away with a foul on that one as Isaac Miz is going to check back in for Braha. So both Gindi and Braha on the bench with a minute 21. Left yeah, well, Braha quarter. took an elbow to the rib over there. That's an air ball, three-point, the rebound by Smartmart. I like Smartmart in this game. He's, he's got some height that Halel needs against this matchup, and it's a nice pass by Smecky. Smartmart blocked, and Smartmart will go to the line for two. I mean, Norman, you mentioned his height, you mentioned his strength, but look at that. His ability to get in the paint, take an elbow or two, and he's now on the, on the free throw It's line. not just his ability to get in the paint, it's his willingness to get in the paint and take a hit. These guys are bigger and stronger than we are, but Smartmart looks like uh, he should be on their team. Smartmart got a nice build. <laughs> <laughs> he's got some muscles. A little too strong on that foul shot. He's got to loft it a little bit. Give me a little bit more of a touch. Yeah, yeah. Than a, you know, a a, a toss over there. Smart Mart and Halal is now one for two from the line. Those are their first. That's their first trip to the line. Okay. It looks like Sar is going to slow it down for the first time. A minute left in the first quarter. Halal down one. Izzy Ingbert to help. Nice pass again, Dave. Wow. They like going in and out, yeah. and it opens up that three. Halel has to pinch. Norman, it's almost like the famous Chicago Bulls triangle offense. They'll bring that big man up to the elbow and just circulate that ball. Corner, elbow at the at the at the three line, and down in the paint. Smecky drives, he's fouled. He'll go to the line for two. Run. When you let the ball get passed in, it just opens up everything for the opponent and for their offense. So now the ball's going yeah. in, it's in the paint, everyone then converges a minute too late, and then all the shooters are wide open, and exactly. that's why SAR keeps it getting open and looks. Here's Smecky on the line for two, hits the first. And Hillel's got to be good at the line today. You could tell this SAR team is a physical bunch. So Hillel may have opportunities to steal some free throws. And they're three for four from the line in this first quarter after Smecky drains both. Listen, it's 1917. It's a fast-paced game. 
Sar slowing it down. SAR slowing it down. That's a bad foul. Oh, wow. it, what happened there, Rod? I think they called a um, a carry. A ball by, yeah, a carry. So a ball my violation. apologies to Eddie yeah. Casson and his fan club. I called it a bad foul, but it was actually a carry. So uh, I thought he had reached in, but I guess he never touched them and forced the carry. So that could be a big turnover. I assume Hillel will hold for one. There's 16 seconds. You gotta watch that inbound pass. You can't be lofting a ball. It's not a uh, it's not a game of catch or fly. There's Smecky regains control. There's four seconds. Loses control again. Oh no! The oh, he had time. No, he had plenty of time. Plenty of time for easy The first seven minutes and 40 seconds of that quarter were fast paced and crisp. The last 20 seconds were a carry, a bad inbound. Two trips by Smecky, a turnover. And a flying angel. A flying floater <laughs> from the foul line extended for no reason with two seconds remaining. Well, you know what, Norman? I mean, at the end Thanks. of the day, giving up 19 points in the first quarter is not sustainable. Hillel's defense is going to have to help out. <laughs> Noah Hakeem's going to have to get more physical. The rebounding is going to have to just get a little bit more taller and a little bit more stronger. The question the fans are wondering, and I see Jackie Peaches Pachoto wearing full Yankee uh, garb tonight in the crowd, is can Hillel stay with SAR at this fast pace? I mean, it's 1917. They're, they're pacing 76 points or something. No, yeah. what are they pacing, Ron? What's 19 times? For. That'll be uh, 76, Norman. Yeah, so they're pacing right. 76 points, and we're right behind them. We're going to be pacing eight points less than that, so we're pacing 68. I don't know if we can sustain that based on what I've seen all year. And so. that's exactly Coach Jackie Pachotto's frustrations with the team. Of course, Coach Jackie Pachotto, loaded resume as Hillel's softball coach. He just got back from San Diego in the MLB winter meetings. Rabbi Bold is here, Rabbi Howard Bold. He knows how loud these kids could be in class. Yet now we're in the gymnasium, and he wonders if the fans are on mute. As you can hear a pin drop here in Hillel. Credit Hillel, though, Ron. They have stayed with SAR. They're down by two in a fast-paced game. Okay, it looks like, this, uh, it looks like Gindy is back in. And look at JoJo with Mojo ending the game. Here's EB. He goes down. When he does that, I wish he did that more, Ron. I wish EB took the ball to the hole like that with authority more rather than settle for those threes. He's good at the threes. He hits a lot of threes, but I love when he takes the ball to the hole. That's a missed three-pointer. Norman, even on that That miss, was helped with the miss. Even on that miss, we weren't in a position to get a rebound. We got a lucky bounce. It fell right to the hands of Hakeem. Yep. Hillel needs to pounce the rebound. And look how Hillel slowing it down a little bit. Here's EB. He pulls up. It's good. Elliot Braha, when he drives to the hole, he creates things like that where he could fake a drive, exactly. and the guy goes flying. It sets up everything, and now Hillel leads 21-19. Okay, in the corner, did not let him go baseline, but called for the check foul is Kassin. Edward Casson. That's Hillel's first foul of the night, and obviously Eddie Casson's first. I say, oh, well, inbound underneath. Let's watch this inbound play. You know they're going to have something interesting. Yep. Okay, is the ball down low. Shams or misses. And the three is short. Fight for the rebound. SAR will get a fourth chance in this possession. Wide open cross. Health up top. Okay, hello, converging. SAR. Nice move, Smart Mart fights for it. Just like you discussed, Elliot Braha charging the basket as SAR will take a timeout, get a breather for their guys. Norman, I mean, it's clear Hallel's trying to keep up, but we're barely, barely able to react to the passes. SAR able to get those clean shots. What do we got to do to just get on the same page as them and, and react quicker to them? Listen, Ron, I mean, we're staying with them. It's 25 to 23. SAR's got a lot of talent, more talent than any team we've seen 
we are staying with them because Elliot Braha is hitting his shots, Moses Mackey is hitting his shots, and Eddie Cassin is hitting his shots. Yeah. So we happen to be shooting at a very high percentage. I mean, Braha's got nine points, Cassin's got six, Smeki's got eight, right? No, Smeki's got, got seven. seven. And Smart Mark's got one. So, yeah. I mean, we're right in the game with them. If we can keep shooting at at this pace, I mean, we could stay with them. But Look, Norman, SAR, they know how to play basketball. They got to the championship against Ramaz just last year and lost on basically a buzzer beater uh, miss layup from SAR. They had the championship in a layup, and uh, the, the senior then just missed it. I mean, but the point is there. They know how to win. They know how to pass. I mean, well, I think Coach the key Halper, is... Uh, sorry to interrupt you, Ron. The key is this, this kid, Shanzer. I mean, number 20, Akiva Shanzer, on SAR is, is is having a landmark night. He's got yeah. 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 points. Unbelievable. He's barely missed a shot. He's got a couple of assists also. He's the guy with the ball right now. And look at that pass. Like, he passes so, so strong. Pass down low. Back to Shanzer. He's got another look. Rebound passing. I mean, I don't know if we need to go to a box and one or what we want to do with this kid, but he, he's the high score by a wide margin. Smecky, another three. Missed it. Kassin with the offensive rebound misses it. And another rebound here. Noah Hakeem. He'll go to the line for two. Good job by Noah. Yeah, Noah strips the ball from the SAR and able to get a second possession. He's at the free throw line for two. Ron, these guys look crisp considering they're coming off a two-hour bus ride from Yonkers. <laughs> I mean, even with a, a, a break at Cheesequake for 10 minutes, I mean, that's a long drive on a on a late night. Hakeem in and out. Hillel is now three for five from the line. They trail by two. The second quarter scoring has slowed down tremendously. And no one misses both foul shots, Ron. But Norman, look at the fenders on the line trying to get that rebound. Oh, you're right, Ron. That's we haven't first seen that since 1560. Ronnie, you are correct. That's the first time we've seen it. We almost got that rebound, by the way. They almost yeah. lost it. They ended up losing it down here. You can only imagine how many cumulative rebounds we would have had over the years. Ron, the second half is six all, I think. So the scoring has slowed down. There's only, th I mean, the second quarter is yeah. six all. Only three minutes left in the quarter. Here's Bahara. He pulls up for three, and it's yeah. good. Elliot Braha. He's having some game, Ronnie. He's hitting threes. He's driving to the hole. He's got 12 points right now. And Halal takes a 26 to 25 lead. SAR, here's another three points, and this one by Felt. It's off the mark, and Bahara had the rebound, but he lost it. Here's a three from the corner. Oh. That's a bad turnover. Elliot Bra had the rebound nonchalantly, took it down. Yeah. Either yeah. Yona Abraham or Gabriel Scar, whichever one is wearing that number 23. Hit a three over there. Rabbi Howard Ball saying you gotta hold the ball. Give like me it's for baby. three. It's good. Oh. Good. Isaac Indy's first shot of the game, and he drains the three-pointer to give Halel a one-point lead. 29-28, Halel, two minutes left in the half. Good defense by Halel. Oh, that's a nice play. That is a nice play. Yeah, I mean... Number 40, Ron, I have that as... Yish... Or Orlo. i sorry, Ron, that's Orlo with the reverse yeah. layup. Looks like Yishurun Orlo. Bad pass by Smecky. That's a turnover. But then Smecky redeems himself with a steal and a beautiful pass. Eddie Cassin converts the Nolan pass from Moses Smecky. Moses Smecky made a bad pass and then probably made the best pass of the night. No look straight to Eddie Cassin. Halal up by one again. Oh, and the what's the call, Ryan? It looks like a foul on number Gindy. one. Gindy. That'll be Jindy. Is it Gindy? Uh, Jindy, no. I'm it's sorry. Gindy. So the G is soft. Oh. Gindy or Jindy with the foul. Hello leads by one, a minute and a half left. And this is what the fans wanted to see, a tough battle over here. SAR, their main scorer, Sanzer, will inbound. He passes it. A missed layup, fight for the rebound. Elliot Brown with the rebound. He's going to try to go coast to coast. He was fouled there, no call. Oh, went off the rim, gets the rebound. Wow. 
He was definitely fouled there. The refs missed the call. They're letting the kids play tonight, Norman, no doubt. Okay, Cassin, good hustle. Bumped his uh, back end against the padding, and thank God we have that padding. Yeah, I mean, Norman, like you mentioned, it's not the first missed call tonight. These refs are letting contact slide. They're going to let these kids get physical. Bahara is uh, a little spent. He's tired. Miz is in the game now. Long pass. Again, that guy, that kid likes, number 10 likes the three from the corner, but no, hello. He goes for the rebound. Miss the layup. Well run. And now all of Halal goes Watch for the behind. rebound. Pass it to Smecky. Off the backboard. SAR's got numbers. SAR, and that's going to be a foul on Mizrahi. That's his first. Sanger <laughs> hits the first as Hillel puts in their substitution. Smart Is that Shanzer again? Sorry, I, yeah, um, I'm Shanzer sorry. Again. Oh my god, what a player this kid is! And you know what? Hillel staying with him. He hits both. He, he I mean, he has four, six, eight, Shanzer. ten. 16 points in the first half. He has half of their points. 32-31 SAR, 40 seconds. Do you hold for one here? I mean, yep. Zvi Goldberg standing up upright, so that means stress levels are low. Oh, no! Gindy missed the pass. Isaac Gindy, one of the best football receivers you'll find out there. Yeah, can handle. And softball center fielders as well. Yeah. They're putting Miz in for Gindy now. They're, it seems like they're going defense, offense, Gindy and uh, Miz. So now Miz comes in, and then they take it out Bahara as well for the defensive stick. Maybe give him a little breather. If Halel gets the ball back in this calf, they'll put those guys back in. They're down by one. SAR holding for one, 32-31. What an exciting first half. And that's a... That's going to stay the same way. 14 seconds remain. Yeah, you know what? It looks like Elliot's going to check back in. I was going to say, for all the offensive focus that Elliot Baraha demands, he really is one of Hallel's main defensive rebounders as well. Taking him out, I'm not sure, is the right decision. But you know what, Ron? You don't want to get a, a, a bad foul with 10 seconds left. If we get the ball back, he's going to come in. Five seconds remain. It's a long pass to the corner. A three. High rebound. And that's the half. Um, credit both teams. That was a very yeah. exciting, fast-paced, offensively driven half. 32 to 31. Yeah. SAR has the height and strength advantage, and they're showing that on the offensive boards. The level when they get a rebound, it's more of like a team Exactly. Gathering. It's, it's a tip. It's an off the guy's foot. Halel needs to create more opportunities by boxing out for those easy rebounds. Right now we're going to have a, um, a halftime over here. We can analyze. It was a physical game, yet only four fouls called on Halel, only seven called on the Sting. Yeah. So the Zebras are letting the boys play. Um, I, I, You know... It's been consistent, though. Nothing yeah. you can really complain about. I thought the one bad one was Elliot Braha had a fast break. He definitely got fouled. He yeah. got, like, undercut. Yeah. No call there. But besides for that, I think the rest have called a, a, a fair and balanced game. Absolutely, Norman. Let's see what uh, president of student council here at a little, Ethan Rofay, cooks up for a halftime show, if at all. Of course, last time we had Eli Franco take a half-court eve. Ron, if you're a coach V Goldberg, what are you telling your team at halftime? What's what's the main issues of uh, of the game so I mean, far? You're, you're just saying this is going to be a traditional basketball game. You're going to have to crank down the defense. You're going to have to box out, take an elbow or two. I do think Marty Cohen's going to have to be a main focus for Hillel. Just being able to go up with those guys, being able to box out and get up there. Uh, Elliot Braha, Eddie Cass, and Moses Smecky. They're going to try to create fast break opportunities for those easy layups. Because when Hillel gets set and you get SAR's defense set, it's really hard to exploit that defense, Norman. Yeah, Ron, I think the key is clearly Akiva Shanzer is torching them. 
I don't know if you need to go to a box in one. I don't know what you need to do, but he's got six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16 of the 32 points. I didn't major in math, but I think that's half their points, Ronnie. Um, so, I mean, 16 out of 32, and Hillel trails only by one point. If you could neutralize Shanzer just a little bit, you could take control of this game. I mean, you could think about boxing wanting him with Hakeem. We know how ferocious of a defender he can be. But again, you need that help down low with those rebounds. So it's a give and take, Norman. Yes. Yeah, so like you want to have Smart Martin to get your rebound, and he's their best rebounder tonight. You but you want to have uh, Noah in to guard this chains or up top. Otherwise, otherwise you don't need Noah to be in this game. His right. job has to be to do be the box and one. So if Zvi's not going to call for the box and one. I don't see why you would have Noah in the game. But if you're going to box and want him, then you need to have Noah in the game the remaining 16 minutes, basically. Yeah, yeah I hear it, Norman. Because he's mean. their force. By the way, you can't really box and one because every kid on this team could shoot the ball. Uh, yeah, I was about to say. I mean, you put box and one on Shanzer. He goes into a corner. He can easily pass it wing to wing, corner to corner with ease like we've seen in this first half. So I'm not sure box and one is the solution. Perhaps a 1-3-1, one, one, Norman. I don't, it, it's very tough, Ron. There's almost no solution unless we can play with six men. A six man would allow us to box in one and play everybody. By the way, foul shooting, we are three for four. They are three for four for the line, SAR. Hillel is one, two, three. Three for five. Three for six. Three for six for the line. Noah Hakim 0 for two. Smecky 2 for two. Smart Mart 1 for two. Um, so... Three, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen points. The second quarter, Hillel won fourteen to thirteen. The first quarter, SAR won at nineteen to seventeen. That's how close this contest yeah. has been. I mean, and we expect the close, you know, up to the end, 32-31. It looks like the game is gonna be won. Who can convert on defensive possessions? I think the sting has to be somewhat surprised. I mean, they beat teams like DRS by 50. Yeah. They beat them by 50 points, 66 to 61 against a playoff team. So they have to be somewhat surprised that they came in here and were, were only down by one. Now let's try to steal the game. Absolutely. Let's see if SAR can play a close game. It looks like they've only played blowout so far. How well can they fare along the stretch? That's what I'd like to introduce. Rab, official rabbi here at Eli Yeshiva, rabbi of the renowned Largewood Synagogue, Beth Rachel here in Oakhurst, New Jersey. Rabbi, wonderful to have you on the air as always. Give us your thoughts on the game. What am I talking to here? Right this way? I think this comes down to one word and one word only. Rebounding. Yes. Rebounding. Yes. And Halil will win the game if they can rebound 50% better in the neck in the second half. 50% better. So not, not even perfectly. 50% better. Right. Halil will win. So Every, still as get I'm, out as rebounded I'm, still. They're going to get out rebounded. It just, look, it looks as though the Sting are bigger, a little bit stronger. <laughs> um, but if they can make rebounding half the emphasis that it was and limit some of those second and third chance points, I think Halil will can, can make a big run in the second half. The rabbi's still on a high, obviously, from the news that broke overnight that Halal Yeshiva's middle school hockey team actually won a hockey game by the score of three to two. Something that happens once every, you know, once every solar eclipse. Um, but Coach Daniel Powell has reinvigorated the hockey program yeah. and won a game three to two on the road last night. So Norman, if they can do it, so can we. As Oren Glickman. This is his, his fourth attempt from half court. <laughs> Norman, when the Towel family came from Brooklyn to deal, they brought two things, rabbinical authority and coaching in the hockey division. These rabbis specifically, these Towel rabbis are here to make a difference on the Jersey Shore. Ron, you couldn't have said it any better. And, you know, one hand washes the other, Ron. Who's to say which one is more important? <laughs> uh, but you do have the rabbinical right. authority from Rav Dove, and then you have... Have, uh, the hockey uh, ferociousness from his brother Dano. Yeah. Ron, a minute and a half left. 32 to 31. You could feel the buzz in the Jeffrey and Juliet Sack Athletic Center. More specifically, the Joel Rishti Memorial Gymnasium here at 1025 Deal Road. Halel is in this game, but 
as Joel Richie himself used to say, games are won in the third quarter. How are you going to come out of that halftime? And it's a coach's job to push the right buttons, make the correct adjustments, and motivate his players to come out strong in the third quarter. And I mean, Norman, it's something that Coach Alvy Halper does best for this SAR squad. I'm sure they went into a classroom, they took out the whiteboard and markers, they said, we need to do X, Y, and Z to really break out this game. 23, what his name is. Ask him if his name is Yona or Gabriel. 23 on their team. Go hurry up, you only have 40 seconds. I'm sending my son Ronnie to ask 23. The roster has two number 23s on SAR. We don't know if it's Yona Abraham or Gabriel Sklar. Let's see Ronnie going up to the men. Okay, Ronnie's going to come back. This is our field reporter. Ron, what do you got? What's his name? What? Okay, so it's Gabriel Sklar, Ronnie. It is not Yona Abraham. It is Gabriel Sklar, number 23. Halal has two number 20... Uh, SAR has two number 23s. On the website. Yeah, Norman, we'll put in a complaint with the MYHSAL commissioner's office. I've done it once. I'll do it again. Yes. And Ronnie, was this... A... 40 seconds yes. He was holding his side. He got hit in the rib. That's why they took Yeah. Okay, so another field reporter, Jackie Peachman Pachoto, was reporting that the reason Braha was taken out at the end of that quarter that you questioned, Ron, yeah. was because he couldn't breathe because he got hit in the rib on the play before. Okay. Is V Goldberg wearing a very yeah. interesting checked okay. shirt, Ronnie? A, a, a yeah. plaid, if it's you will. It's almost like a flannel, Norman. Ronnie, it's something you don't see from Goldberg that often, a flannel. He's no. much more of a solid color with a stripe, an emblem, if you yeah. will, an embroidery. Yeah. Never have I seen Mr. Goldberg Norman. in this flannel type of look. But true to Goldberg fashion, it's muted with your grays, yeah. your off-whites, and your blacks. I mean, Norman, you mentioned in the pregame you predicted a V-neck for extra breathing room, extra sweating room. Uh, Coach B. Goldberg not worried about his stress levels. He's going to go into the flannel. Nice turnaround attempt by Sokol to open up the third quarter. Um, but good defense by Bahara there. I don't know if he got away with one or not, but... Oh, nice pass! Down low from Bahara to Smecky. There's be definitely been a lot of contact that hasn't been called. Smart Mart. Oh, we got to steal that pass. It, it evaded Miz. And now they'll kick it out again. Wide open for three. Air ball! Ron, you, you can't get all them for that. It's very tough to anticipate the air ball as Sklar puts it in. You're expecting a rebound off the rim, and then the ball just goes air, and then it's very easy offensive rebound and air ball. Eddie Casson. Oh, Miz had an open look, but thought otherwise. Drives. Okay. Isaac, Isaac Miz, his first bucket of the game. A little bit of a broken play for Halal Norman. No one is really moving. Isaac Miz just sort of found his way up to the basket, put it in for an easy two. Ron Halal trails 34-33. Those are the two numbers I wore for Halal in high school. Oh. Oh, thought about a long three-pointer there. And that's finally a dribble in and shot. You don't see that from SAR. They like the three-point ball. But this time it was Health who decided to take a little mid-range jumper. They lead by three. Raha, nice crossover. Created himself space. Beautiful shot, but unable to make it fall. And now a full-court pass. And Kassin doesn't do the foul. And Sklar out-hustling. Who was that? Actually, no, that was number three. Health. That was health again. He's got four points in this quarter. Smecky, a fade away. Halal's a little slow coming and out Ron, of the Yep, this is what we were saying about the third quarter. This is where uh, this is where great teams extend. And, uh, you know, Halal, this is a big possession. Halal can't let this game get, get too comfortable for SAR. Danger. Shanja finally misses a shot, but a rebound by Sokol. Helped out <laughs> again. Number 10 likes that corner. He missed his fair share of threes, though. <laughs> He's not shy about taking those threes. Is, is Ingber. Bahara to Kassin. Kassin, nice floater. Big, big, big possession. 
by Hillel, and suddenly it's three. We were down five in danger of going down eight with that three, but now we're only down three. Big swing right there. Smart Mart on top of the key, and nice block and rebound by Braha. Braha's going to pull up for three. It's good! but not enough for anyone to hear, raised his arm, and nobody reacted, so play continued. Elliot Braha takes advantage, hits for three. Didn't you sort of know he was going to drain that shot when he pulled yeah. up? It wasn't one of those wild pull-ups. It was like a more controlled pull-up. But Shanzer tries to respond. Smart Mart with another rebound. Snucky, no look. But it's a turnover. That'll get the traditionalists out there going crazy that he tried to no-look, but it did work for him previously. Health for three. Health silences the crowd. Health has seven points in this quarter, Ron. He had four the whole first half. He has seven points this quarter. Uh, and SAR takes a three-point lead, 41-38. to 38. It was 38 all for a yeah. moment there after Bahara drained that three. I mean, what a silencer from health. I mean, silences the crowd, silences the energy. Probably silences some of the confidence out of the, those Hillel players. But, I mean, like you mentioned, Hillel got to be able to rebound more. Uh, they're going to have to also try to create, you know, speed up the game a little bit more. Get those fast break opportunities like we saw in that first half. Yep, yep. Um, Hillel trailed 32 to 31 at the half. In now trail 41-38. Health doing the heavy lifting. Uh, Shanzer has missed two shots in his third quarter already, so that's a good sign. That's a good sign if you're rooting for the Heat. It doesn't look like Hillel made any adjustments on the defensive end. Let's see how that plays out for them. Okay, Ron. Hillel will bring the ball up. They trail by three. Braha thought about a double-team pull-up. Jindy or Gindy back in the game. Stutter step by Kassin. Oh! Wow. Gordon, what a shot by Kassin. He went under the defender, over another defender, and into, the, into a spin basket. Kassin has 12 points. Braha's got 17 points. No, Braha's got 15. Excuse me, Ron. Swing to his Shanzer again. He missed another one. He got cold. Gindy leading a three on two. He takes it himself. Off the backboard. Like Rebound by Gindy. Gabriel. High pass. What a play. He saved oh that ball. God. That's unbelievable play by Shanzer. The things that don't show up on the stat sheet, Norm. Nope. They don't show up. And now a three. No rebound attempt by Hillel. Ronnie, yeah. Hillel did not even go for the rebound there. They didn't even attempt. And that, that one's on Smart Mart. I mean, he's in the game to rebound. And now Shanzer finally drains the three. Braha jumps up. Passes it to Smart Mart. Wow. What a Marty Smart. Cohen answers back. And that's Smart Mart, Norm. Smart Mart Cohen. And now Hillel manages to stay with SAR. I'm telling you, Ron, a team like SAR usually runs away with the game in the third quarter yeah. when they play this well, and they're not able to do it so far. Whether it's Gindy, whether it's Sm uh, Marty Cohen, whether it's Braha, whether it's Kassin, someone for Hillel continues to step up when SAR hits a bucket. Norman, it's just like we said in the pregame. These next two minutes and 50 seconds are vital to keep close with SAR. Just getting them a little bit nervous in the fourth quarter. They haven't been tested in the fourth quarter. These starters haven't played in the fourth quarter, Norman. It's a great point. And if you can stay with them for these final three minutes of the third, you're right. Not only are they in uncharted territory because they haven't played a close game yet. They're on the road. It's yeah. getting late. Crowd will awaken. Exactly. Um, student section will wake up. They've been a little quiet tonight, if I, uh, if I, if I don't say so myself. But... Um, but you're right, Ron. The next 256 are crucial for Hillel. They have Noah Hakim in the game, Gindy, Eddie Kasson, Smart Mart, and Elliot Braha. So Smecky is not in the game now. He really hasn't had a huge impact in this game. Scored a couple of buckets early, did Smecky. In the first quarter, he had seven, but nothing since then. So Smee gives him the bench, and that's a foul by Smart Mart. Marty Cohen. Yeah, Norman, it looks like Hillel is doing just as discussed with that box in one, putting Akeem on Shanzer, trying to get him a little bit nervous, trying to withhold him, but Shanzer able to beat it, drawing the foul there. I think that's the first foul call of the entire third quarter on, on either yeah, side. I think so too. 
And it's on Smart Mart. Shanzer goes. This guy. He's on top of everything else. He's also three for three from the foul line so far. Got 22 points so far. And he's four for four from the line with 23 points now. Uh, he's subbed out. Well, it's good coaching by Alpert. He wants to he wants to sit Shanzer for a breather here. If he could steal the rest of the third quarter, he'll have a fresh Shanzer for the fourth. Yeah. But this might only be a single possession substitution also. We don't know. Let's see what he does. Raha, nice move. And oh, Elliot Raha roars like a lion and awakens the crowd. Ronnie, I can't stress it enough. When Mr. Braha is driving to the line, he's pretty much unstoppable. I haven't seen anyone in this league, I'm watching this man play for years, I haven't seen anyone in this league be able to stop him when he goes to the hole with authority yeah. like that. And Hillel is now down by only two. Braha to the line for one. And Hillel does have Eddie Kasson on the line. And Eddie Kasson okay. gets the rebound! Look at that, Norman! Kasson! And just like that, Coach Halper looks to Shanzer. It looks like he's going to check in sooner than we thought. Norman, he's in the game. 46 all. <laughs> Jump shot. Off the mark. Rebound. Jump shot. Off the mark. Offensive rebound again. Third possession. Third time. And it's Gabriel Sklar to give SAR the lead. You can't give them three chances. I'm not sure what Hakeem is doing there, being on the outside half. If they're not going to go for full team rebounds on every shot, you got to pull the guy off the court. You got to get some height in there if that's if that's how he's going to play. Gindi, he plays the game. Hello, drive into the hall, lane of the game. It's exactly what you want to see. Isaac Gindi has explosiveness when he drives to the hall. Hello ties it again. What a game! 48 all. Look at Hello going for the trap. That way. Oh. <laughs> The crowd in a collective gas awaits the referee's call, but he made it right. He got the right call. He got the Saves right. an SAR. I, I don't know if he got the right call, but I know he did. Because, and look at Goldberg subbing him as Rahi for Hakeem. Hakeem unable to get the job done on the offensive on the defensive boards, and he'll get the pine. Inbound, wide open for three. Why? Why? Why would you not contest that shot? Rahi oh, stared at him. He stared at him and said, "Take it." And it's Jacob Glick with the three-pointer. I don't understand it. If Hillel's not going to empty the tank on every possession, they're not going to win the game. No look pass. Marty. And that's a foul on the floor. And let's see who it's on. I'm not sure who it's on. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if he motioned. The ref pulled out a said. number, but I couldn't see who's on. Inbound pass. Gindy! He'll go to the line for two. Almost got the end one call there, Norman. What an exciting game. What effort by both sides. I hate the fact that we gave them an open three for no reason in yeah. the last possession. Isaac Gindy will go to the line for I two mean, shots now. Norman, it's such a different game when Halel isn't throwing up those three-pointers late in the third quarter. Gindy misses Driving the first. The Such a different game. Ron, Gindy has got to drain this foul shot. We can't be missing more and more foul shots. Got to hit him when we get there, like we said earlier in the first quarter. And Gindy misses both, and it's a foul by Kasson. <laughs> and that's why Coach V. Goldberg, for the last six years, has not had a man there. He's afraid of that foul, but Gindy... You know what? Halel's in no foul trouble tonight, and uh, the refs are letting yeah. them play. Yeah. We got an offensive rebound when we were down by two earlier. We tied the game at 46. But Gindy missed both foul shots there. That's not good. And now another wide open three for SAR. And a disastrous turn of events for Hillel. I'm not sure. Rod, number 43 wow. hit that. Eddie Kasson with the bucket. That's his 16th point of the night, Norman. Absolutely ferocious. Eight of them in this. Basket. Eight of them in this quarter. Alel trails by four. Big possession for SAR. Oh, Snecky went for the steal. <laughs> the fans do the fake countdown. Look at that move. What a play! A wide open. 
layup for help. And Halal trails by six, 56 to 50. Okay. This uh, SAR, I think, ended that half on a 6 0 run, Ron. I think we had a game tied up. A couple of missed foul shots. You know what, Norman? Uh, we're down six, but I. <laughs> But I saw a better game just now. The difference in that game is two open three-pointers that Elliot Braha just let the, the SAR take. I mean, you barrel those down, and you got a tie game. So Hillel, they got to keep driving. they got to get just a little bit better on those rebounding. I've seen improvement since the first half. But we're right there, Norman. The offense is rolling. Eddie Kassin. Elliot Braha, Moses Smecki, they're driving to the basket. Well, Smecki wasn't, didn't even play that quarter except for the last 40 seconds. Um, so Coach Goldberg had had Hillel staying in that game behind the likes of Marty Cohen. He had a little bit of Noah Hakim in there. Miz had a big impact in that third quarter. Yeah. Isaac Gindley had a big impact in the third quarter. And, of course, the two big boys tonight, Elliot Braha, 18 points. Eddie Casson, 16 points. Eddie Casson with eight points in that quarter alone, Ronnie. Wow. Hillel down 56 to 50. Interesting uh, uh, choice of music from the producer here at Hillel. Uh, it's Edwin Diaz's famous uh, walkout song to close the game. Hillel, though, here is down six. <laughs> Maybe it's one of those uh, two inning save situations where you got <laughs> nothing to lose, so you're going to put your closer in anyway. What are you going to hold on to him for? Casson inbounding the ball oh. goes to Noah. Noah up top, so it's, so it's Hakeem, it's Smecky, it's Braha Miz, and Kasson, Braha down low, almost loses it, decides to reset it. Braha drives, Hakeem called for it, stutter step, and yeah. it's fouled. Nice move, Noah Hakeem, pump fake and drove baseline. Are they going to give him two shots? He'll go to the line for two, yeah, he was shooting there, yeah. on. Yeah, he's, he's yeah. 0 for 2 from the line tonight. He's got to drain a couple over here. Hello, Coach Humbert arguing he was going to pass that ball, which I thought so too, but Hakeem faked after the foul that he was going to shoot it now at the line. Oh, Ronnie, we got to start hitting foul shots. Hakeem himself 0 for 3 from the foul line. I mean, they are missing their share of free throws. I'm scared to look at the stats. Later in the game, finally, Halal hits a free throw. Halal down five. That's Noah Hakeem's first point of the day. One for four from the line. Smecky back in the game. Zvi hoping that he could get some offense out of him in this fourth quarter. Big, big quarter of play for both Halal and SAR. Definitely SAR's biggest challenge of the year. And it's an errant pass. Recovered. This is great defense, Norman. It's great D, but the pass goes faster than the defense. And Shanzer missed a three. Phenomenal defensive possession for Halal. Probably their best of the night. And good effort. And they were they were running to every person. Smecky! Smecky trying to get something started. Oh, it's a rebound. No, but jumps, recovers it. Oh, Evie was fouled there. No call. Gets the own rebound, dribbles it out. Smecky for three from the corner. Oh. This is it again. He's not hitting get anything back, get tonight. Get back, get back. Halal contested. Offensive rebound again. Yeah, slow to get back there from Elliot Brown. That's the story of the night. That is the story of the night. The offensive rebounds are killing them, and it's Sklar again with a bucket. Braha for a fadeaway three, and then a foul, and... This game just got a little, uh, <laughs> just took a turn for the worse there. I would have oh. liked to see Coach V. Goldberg use a timeout there. I mean, Elliot Braha was the only Hillel player on that side of the court. They're winded. They need a break. I would call a timeout here. You haven't seen this all year. Braha and Smecky both out now. It's Gindi, Kassin, Noah Hakim, Smartmar, and Miz. Wow. So not the best offensive grouping. Um, let's see how long. I mean, Zvi can't afford to have them both sitting for too long. Air ball three, rebound Eddie Kasson. Let's see what Halal can do on offense without Braha or Smecky in the game. Braha having a monster game. Smecky not so much tonight, although those are their two of their three best scorers. Hakeem dribbling. Stops. Eddie in the corner. Eddie underneath the smart bar. And one! And one! Marty Cohen! He's having a great game, Ron! Wow. 
Wow, great passing there from Halel. Eddie Kassin finds the open space. Looks like Eli Bra will check back in for Hakeem. Yep, yes he will. I like it, Ron. It's a good yeah. move by Goldberg. And uh, he got Braha a little bit of a rest. You'll see Braha the rest of the way now. Marty with a chance for a three-point play. He has five points on the night. One more shot coming. And Eddie Kassin on the sideline. Halel misses yet another foul shot. The foul shooting is nothing better than atrocious. And it's costing them the game against the first place undefeated team. Five and a half left. 58-53. Halel has missed at least 10 foul shots. Look at Halel going for the trap. The defense is good. SAR is strong with their passes, but Halel is on to everything. Gindy, good defense. Nice pass across. Ron, look at the fight. Marty Cohen Amazing. recovers the ball. Halal calls a timeout. What effort by Halal. You got to just clap your hands if you're in the fan section over here. I mean, Norman, the defense has figured out. They have it down. It's just going to come down to not giving. Ron, you don't see this too often. SAR is getting agitated. Yeah. They haven't been tested. Yeah. It's their coach. He's well-dressed. He's wearing a blue blazer with gray pants and a white shirt. Yeah. He's got a beautiful black velvet yarmulke on. He's holding a clipboard, which he hasn't used in the fourth quarter all year. I mean, Norman, the players that are out have not played in the fourth quarter. Like we said, Coach Halper getting a little bit nervous. Halal one big shot away from really getting them sweaty. I hear you, Ron. There's five minutes and 19 seconds left. Halel is upbeat, they're playing like a team, and when you see a loose ball, and you see bodies on the floor, that's what Halel basketball is all about. Marty Cohen having a big game, he has five points, but he has at least ten rebounds tonight. A um, couple, uh, couple of recover turnovers, and Halel is battling tonight. I don't know if they're going to win or lose, but they're you got to applaud yes. the effort that they have tonight. On almost every play, they've given it full effort. Okay, Gindy couldn't get open, so the inbound went to the backup of Marty. Loud crowd here at Hillel. Passing, Marty in the post. Backing in, turn around, off the rim, and it's off of Eddie Casson. Yeah, you don't see that set very often from Hillel where they get the ball into the post. It's a new look for them. Well, Marty Cohen already has one of those shots made. Trying to get another one there. I don't mind the shot selection. I don't mind it at all. Down by five is Halal. Gindi playing Shanzer. Shanzer is definitely quieted in the second half, but he's a threat every time he touches the ball. And number 10 from the corner. Yeah, he finally converts that shot. He even. finally hit it. It's Izzy Ingbert. Ingbert. It's yeah. his second three-pointer of the night. He's took around 20 of them. Oh, and lane. Gindi got hit on the drive. He'll go to the line for two more. Isaac Gindy has five points tonight. He's 0 for 2 from the line. He'll have two more chances. Halel is now down by eight. This equals SAR's biggest lead of the night with only four and a half minutes left. The game gets away from you that quickly, Ron. Halel really has to dig deep. And that will help them. They're now down seven if they hit their free throws. The free throws are going to be have to be 100% to win this game. From SAR before. has six fouls, so anytime the whistle blows, you're getting at least a one-on-one. -on -one. Huge, Norman. Big, big foul shots from Gindi to perhaps turn the tide. And Hillel going offense-defense. They're going to bring Noah Hakim in for Isaac Gindi now. He's a defensive specialist. Let's see if Hakim can generate a turnover. Snecky. Okay, good deep from Smecky. Hakeem almost wow. a steal. Good contesting. I mean, that's a tough shot. Amazing. Great amazing. defense. Hakeem going to push it. Halal's down only six. Here comes Kassin. He's driving. Off the rim. Rebound, Marty. He goes up off the backboard. Another rebound. He goes up again. Kassin is Marty Cohen looked like Charles Smith for a moment, but unlike Charles Smith, Halel had Eddie Kassin on his team to bail him out, and Halel was down only four. And it's a sneak. Smecky tried to sneak behind. Three and a half. Halel down four. Oh, Pass no. to the corner. No. It's an air ball again. Oh, He's going to get another one. Another oh, ball from behind. Halel has the ball. Three 
20 left. Ingbert, the two more threes. And it's a foul on Eddie Casson. He tripped. He tripped SAR from behind. It was Helft who fell down. So Eddie Casson gets called for the foul. Hillel is down only four now. Gindy with the two foul shots. And then Eddie Casson with the offensive rebound. What a ball game yeah, I, at 1025 Deal Road. This is exciting, Ron. Absolutely. Shanzer putting on a show. Halel defense contesting with him on every possession here in the fourth quarter. What an adjustment by Halel Shanzer, who had 23 in the first half, only has five in the yeah. second half, none in the fourth. Um, and Ingber is around two for 50 yeah. from that corner for three-point land. <laughs> both of the two hurt us tremendously. They both hurt. They both had big impacts at the time that they were hit. Yeah. But he's missed his fair share of them. 314 left. That's high, Ron. 3.14 yes. remaining. 3.14159. Hillel trying to muster up some strength. They need a final push in these last three minutes of the game. Ron, 3.14 remaining, 61-57. SAR is in the bonus, so if they foul Hillel, it'll come down to foul shooting yeah. in the one and one situation. It is going to be Elliot Braha, Eddie Kassin, Moses Smecky, Smart Mark Cohen, and Noah Hakim. SAR... SAR will inbound underneath, it looks like. A physical wow. game. SAR, okay, they actually inbounded up top. Errant pass! SAR thinks the ball was tipped, and so do I. The Zebras saw it differently. Okay, Ron. Marty inbounds to Cassin. It's going to be Snecky bringing it up. Okay, Zvi calling out a play. This is going to be a set offense now. Smecky crossover to Kassin, into Marty. Marty, pump fake, he goes up, he's blocked. SAR recovers, there's 245 remaining. Okay, Zvi wanted the ball in Marty Cohen's hands on that possession. Now, SAR will get the ball. They lead by four. Ingber goes in, yeah, and it's a yeah. reach-in foul by Hakeem. That's the fifth on Hillel in the, th in the second half, so they're not going to the line just yet. Two and a half remain. Four-point game. This has been high pace from the start, Ronnie. Okay. Underneath. They get it into the dead spot, top of the key. Ingber. Hillel is swarming on defense. Every pass is contested. It looks like there's 10 defenders on the court at certain points. Look at this. And you had it to six. Yes. Underneath the pass. He found wow. one. What a pass. The pass of the night by Gabriel Sklar. Oh, my God. And what he found Shanzer underneath. And Shanzer is going to go for a three-point play. I mean, Alal's defense was excellent on that possession, but the offense was just one step better. That's just an unguardable play. Conducted brilliantly by Shanzer at the line, trying the, to stay perfect. The speed of the pass from Sklar. As Shanzer, by the way, is 5-for-5 five five from the line tonight. Braha and the Heat are now down 7 after that 3-point play. That's a big, big play. Hillel spent everything on defense there. And SAR came away with 3 points. Under 2 minutes, Hillel down 7. They got to hustle. Braha goes to the hole. Oh, and it's stripped away from him from behind. And Hillel late to come back on defense, but gets bailed out by a missed layup. Down seven, 145 left. Gindy in the corner, almost loses the handle. And it's a timeout. And it's a timeout. Okay. It looks like Smecky called the timeout. I think he thought that Gindy was going to lose the ball. And Zvi not happy with that timeout call. Halal does have two timeouts remaining with a minute 40. That could be costly. You know what? Zvi's not wrong. You're down seven. 
You can't be wasting timeouts like that. Yeah, well, Svi, we've never seen him run out of timeouts. I kind of like the call. Let the offense reset, conduct the play. Let's get a quick shot off so we can get back to our defense. I hear you. You do have to score on this yeah. possession, but I think Halal has been successful in the fast pace motion of the game rather than when they set up. When they set up, they seem to be pounding it into Marty. When they go fast, it seems like Braha could create something on his own at the top of the key. Yeah. Ron, I want the ball in Eddie Kasson or Elliot Braha's hands right now for this possession. They lead the way. They each have 18 points tonight. Wow. That's 36 of our 57. Okay, let's see. Halal has Gindi, Marty Cohen, Eddie Kasson, Moses Smecki, and Elliot oh. Raha in the game. Risky inbound pass. A minute 30 remains. Smecki, pull back for three. It's an air ball run. I don't know if it got blocked or not. Yeah, it got, but it got a piece of it. SAR, that's a foul by Marty. They'll go to the line for two. All right, Marty prevented the guy from scoring, at least. Halal's going to need him to miss a couple of foul shots. It's Andrew Helft. He's one for two from the line. He was the big scorer for them in the third quarter. Overall, he has 13 points. One of the unsung heroes for this thing. Drains it. Wow. I mean, Norman, one of the main differences in tonight's game is just the free throw shooting. Straight up. Halal missed some key ones. SAR. Uh, SAR, even... they're seven for nine from the line, Ron. They're seven for nine from the line. They're eight for ten from the line. Those are NBA numbers, fellas. They're eight for ten, and our numbers are terrible. Like, if you were just average, Gindi underneath, misses the layup, offensive rebound, Braha. Braha, that's his 20th Press. point. Press. Down seven. Hello, down seven, a minute left. They got, they got a pressure. foul. They got a foul them. Oh, Shane's are almost losing it, but the time is coming off the clock. You got to foul them. You got to foul them or they're going to play takeaway. This team could pass. They can do this all night. They can definitely do it for another 50 seconds. Shanzer are underneath. And Shanzer will go to the line for two. Not sure why Halal didn't yeah. hustle to get them to the line quicker. Like we said, Shanzer five for five. He has 24 points, Ronnie. It's going to take a miracle here. 16 of them in the first half. This kid, Norman. He now has nine in the second half. What a game, and what passing, and what, you know, all around great player for the lefty. He's seven for seven from the line, is Akiva Shanzer. Braha and the Heat now down nine. Braha's going to have to start launching something. He goes in, and it's another two points. And it's a timeout. Bra scores his 22nd point of the night. Halal down 7, 37 seconds. Unless foul shooting completely turns. Yeah, it's going to be tough. It's going to be almost impossible. Um, I got to gotta applaud the effort by Halal. They, they stayed with SAR all night. I mean, it's not over yet, Ron. There's still 37.2 remaining. No, but I mean, re regardless of the result, Halal has shown they can stay with a top team like SAR for four quarters. There's no doubt about that, Norman. Do they have things to clean up? Yes. But being able to stay in this game for four quarters, keeping those starters on the court is an accomplishment in itself. The truth is, like like the rabbi said at halftime, he goes, listen, you're not going to out-rebound them, but if you could just improve the rebounding slightly or whatever... All that's true, but even with all of that, if we just hit our free throws, Eddie Kasson 0 for 1 from the line, Isaac Indy 2 for 4 from the line, Elliot Braha 0 for 1 from the line, Noah Hakim 1 for 4 from the line, Marty Cohen 1 for 3 from the line. These yeah. are unacceptable numbers no. from the foul line. So that's the difference in the game, and it's uh, SAR will do their press breaker, and they will get fouled. Norman, Elliot Braha just flew 10 feet across the court on a jump that was not even intended as a pump fake. Now Andrew Helft will go to the line. Exciting game, though, Ron. It really... Yeah, I... Let's see. Let's see. He's got a he's got a one-and-one, one, so if he misses the first, we can get the ball back. 
But this team doesn't miss. They don't miss. They don't miss their foul shots, and that's the sign of a championship team. A team that can hit their foul shots under pressure. I wouldn't be shocked if the next practice allow has each player 100 free throws. 100, that's that's going up there. As Health looks to the crowd after he drained the second free throw, Kassin thought about a step back, pass underneath the Braha. It's going to be a jump ball. It's going to go to SAR, I believe. I'll tell you, Braha played a great game tonight. Yeah. He took the ball to the hole, he hit a couple of threes, he did a couple of pull up jumpers. He had a lion's share of rebounds for Hillel. If he plays like that regularly, that's a jump ball. Marty will easily intercept that. Hand it off to Braha, who's got to take a three. He's fouled. He'll go to the line for three. Okay, clock is stopped. I mean, Hillel has the opportunity, Norman, to make this a two-possession game. You're right, Ron. Um, let's see if he could drain these. He's got 22 points on the night. Not a timeout. Not a timeout. Just so a convenience. Not a timeout. Not a timeout. Not a timeout. If it's not a timeout, the clock's on Braha. He's only got 10 seconds. He gave the ball back to the Zebra, who allowed him to do that. And with that distraction, he still hits the foul shot. He's got 23 now. Hmm? He's at the foul line, so the clock stops. Huge. Huge, Norman. 24 points for Braha. He misses it, but he crossed the foul line. He's got to wait till the ball hits the rim. I'm not going to count that miss in the missed foul shots because that was on purpose. <laughs> But that is the play. He's right. But like you said, if he hits it, it's only a two-possession game. Right. But, you know, you got to get them to miss foul shots and all that. But, Ron, if you're going to do that play, you need you guys on the line going for the rebound. Not just one guy. You know, you need your, as many guys as, as is legal to go for the rebound if he's going to miss it. Shanzer finally misses a foul shot. And the crowd believes that they played a part in that miss, Norman. Shanzer just with an in and out. It's one of the best players I've seen um, in our two years yeah. broadcasting. I mean, seems to have a good attitude on the court also. I like him. Braha misses oh. the layup, and that'll do it. Yeah. 71-63. SIR, the classy move, will pull back. And what a ball game. Yeah. Hillel didn't prevail, but in many ways they did. Um it's over 71 to 63. I really think Hillel and, and Coach Goldberg, assistant coach Malk, and all the players should have their heads held up high. They played a great game against the best team in the league, who's now 8 and 0. Yeah, I, I mean, SAR, uh, when Hillel saw them on their calendar, they circled this matchup. They said the matchup that we expect is going to be a close game. And I think both teams at the end of tonight's match are saying, we're going to see you again in the playoffs. We hope to see you again in the playoffs. I mean, like you said, a banger of a matchup. It really a great matchup. Ron, it was 71-63. I wasn't looking to see. I don't think SAR scored in the last No, it was 71. So it's 71-63, the final score. Um, not sure uh, why they got a 73 on the scoreboard, but Elliot Braha, a phenomenal game. Eddie Kassin had, um, let's go through it. Eddie Kassin had 18 points. Yeah. Braha had 24 points. Wow. Gindy had seven points. Well earned. Snecky seven. had seven, but all in the first quarter. He did not have a good game after the first quarter. We noted that. Miz had two points. They were. It was a big bucket when he got that yeah, point. Was. Noah Hakeem one point and one for four from the line. Not a good game for Hakeem either. Um, Matu got in the game for a moment, but not much of an impact. Um, and then Smart Mart with five points of his own. So. Yeah, I, I mean, Smart Mar with only five points, but what an impact he had. I believe, Norman, that he's the guy that Coach V. Goldberg has risen to the occasion. He's going to be their fifth man going forward, uh, in my opinion, Norm. And, Ron, the leading scorer of the night was Akiva Shanzer, 27 points. What a game. 
He, I mean, 16 in the first half, 11 in the second half. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for nine from the foul line. Unbelievable. That's a good player. 89%. I mean, those, like I said, NBA numbers from Shans or NBA numbers from SAR as a whole. I mean, that, that's what wins games late in the season. That's what wins games in the playoffs. Right? How about Andrew Health? 17 points, five for five, five for six from the foul line. So eight for nine and five for six is 13 for 15 from Health. And Shanzer alone. And, Ron, the foul shooting was the difference in this game. An eight-point game, a great game. When Hillel pulled within four late in this game, everyone was on their feet. And uh, I loved what I saw from Braha taking it to the hole. I loved Hillel's defense, except for a possession or two there. Um, their rebounding needs some help, definitely. But you played an 8-0 juggernaut of a team. Absolutely. By far and away, this was their biggest challenge of the year. So, uh... So I think Halel has a lot to feel good about. They fall to 4-2, and two, and SAR improves to 8-0. Yeah, Ron, Norman, final words, please. Norman, Halal 4-2, and two, but they're, they're going to go to JEC. It's a game they expect to win on Tuesday. And then back here next Thursday night, where we'll be in the booth once again. Um, Halal with a little easy schedule this year, late in the game. They expect to make the playoffs, but it's going to be these games that set the rest of the year, set in the playoffs. How can you respond to Shanzer when you see him But again? you know what, Ronnie? Um, Giants-Patriots in 07. Yeah. They lost in the regular yeah. season, but they saw they could play with them. They exactly. saw they could play with the best team in the league. This has to tell hello. We lost by eight points to a team that beat everybody else by 20, 30, and even 50. This has to tell Hillel we could play with anybody. And you know what? The next time they play a Ramaz, who they lost to, they should beat them next time, you know? Yeah. Hillel should really win the bulk of their games the rest of the season and be in a strong situation going into the postseason. Absolutely. And Hillel could only hope that they see SAR again because if they do, it'll, it'll be, be late in the playoffs. For Norman Jamal and Ronald Roland Towell and Mustafa D1 Productions, 71-63 SAR. We'll see you next time from Hillel Yeshiva. Ronnie, thank you, buddy. Thank you, Norm.